Well, I got the big ol' Mega Cab Cummins pulled in here, the, the 2018 Longhorn. And the only thing I'm gonna have to do, loud and proud crowd, is get the freaking running boards off. I know it was like in the comments under an Instagram post a handful of days back. Actually, it'll be about a week ago by the time you see this video. Some guys are like, dude, get rid of the running boards. They look stupid and it doesn't look clean. And I was just like, well, dude, I use them every time I get into the truck. But they do rub on the running boards. If I don't have the running boards, I'm all good. It'll clear just fine without any rubbing on a full lock. But with the running boards, that's the only... Um, that's the only weak point with the turning capabilities of this truck. So we are going to ditch the running boards today as well as put a new grill on the front of the truck. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this grill long term or not, but I do want to put it on there for now just to see what it looks like and see if it'll go with the look of the truck that I'm going for, which is that aftermarket modded outlook, but um, nothing, nothing really insane. I'm not going to go spinning thousand dollars on a freaking grill uh, just because I don't even keep my trucks very long so I'd really rather not dump that much money into parts that really aren't that important to me and then of course the final touch will be the cab lights and the fifth gen style not fifth gen headlights but fifth gen style of headlights and uh, that'll just look really really good but for now we're gonna get to dismantling the running boards and getting those off should be a pretty easy thing to do. Oh, hey there. Hey there and We're gonna get to doing that right now And then also keep in mind we are down to the last few days of the truck giveaway by time you see this video There are going to be four days left four more full days left to enter to win the 1997 f-350 Diesel the power stroke I wish I had the truck here so I could show you some pictures of it or some video around the truck But just take my word for it or go watch some of the previous videos. This truck is a beast It's a four-door long bed f-350. It's on 40 It's 22 by 14. So the truck is just it's a monster like it is just super clean rust-free Reagan how how cool is the OBS? Well, it's not cool. a square body, but... <laughs> it's not a square... Okay, but it's close. It's close. It's cooler because it's diesel. It's cool. It is cooler because it's, cool. it's diesel. It's just a really, really cool truck. It is awesome. But anyways, information in the description below. Definitely go and check it out and get yourself entered to win. Every $15 is another entry to win, and I will ship the truck anywhere in the U.S. of A. I will pay to ship the truck anywhere in the States, or if you want to fly out, hang out for the day, then drive it back, or if you just want to drive up and get it, maybe you don't want to fly, you're not into that kind of thing, and you don't want somebody shipping your truck, um, you can just come up and get it and drive it back, and I will cover your cost to get it back to your house in terms of fuel, food, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna get these running boards off this truck and get the new grill put on. Well, in about 10 minutes, we got both running boards off. It was a fairly easy job. And the reason for that is, is the end of the running board, that plastic part, it's, it was just enough to wear on not quite a full lock, but almost. There's probably another three quarter rotation in the steering wheel and it just completely like right here, just grabbed the running board pretty bad. And uh, now that the running boards are off, shouldn't have any issues at all. There's plenty of room now, I mean, we're not gonna have any issues. Definitely no issues up front and very, 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 very uh, minimal issues in the rear. We shouldn't have any rubbing at all now that the running boards are off. And uh, yeah, looking good. So now we're gonna get to the grill of the truck. I really do like the front end of this truck, but I gotta keep in mind the end product. And you guys gotta keep in mind the end result because the way the truck sits right now, even with this new grill put on it, that's not the end result of the truck. We still gotta do a bunch more stuff and really get it all wrapped up before it really looks the way I want it to. Um, so we're just piece by piece getting stuff done. So just keep that in mind. Let's get into swapping out that grill.
everybody, my camera is rapidly dying and we don't have much time left, but with the help of my beautiful fiance Reagan, we were able to get these running boards off and the new grill on. She helped me by passing me tools, making sure that the running boards didn't land where I really did not want them to and smash my shins or something. Um, and so it was just a good little, good little time out here in the shop. Keep in mind the OBS giveaway, the 1997 F350 giveaway, ends in just a few days. I think in four days, four days by the time you see this video, um, maybe three by the time you see, I don't know what day you're seeing this video, but the giveaway's over. So go down to the, see the information in the description below to get entered before time is out. You could be winning a brand new truck. But so the overall look of the truck, I honestly love the grill that I put on this truck. And it wasn't a very expensive grill, it was about 250 bucks. And uh, some people hate it, some people love it, but the reason I went with this grill and not one that was completely blacked out is I didn't want to go with a grill that had all of this painted black too because then it wouldn't match my bumpers and my mirrors. And to be quite honest with you, I wanted it to tie to everything else that I was going to keep factory in the truck. So for the bumpers, the mirrors, the door handles, all that is going to stay chrome. I'm not going to make any big changes to that stuff. Therefore, I wanted to have a good balance of chrome to go with the black to kind of tie into everything else. So like with the cab lights, um, you know, with the wheels and with the little accessories, the tail lights and all that stuff that are black, the grill is going to be tying in with that, but also it's going to favor the chrome essence of the truck as well. And this thing really does, I mean, it, it looks really good. If you ask me, I love it. I think it looks absolutely fantastic and I could not be happier with the way that it looks. Not to mention we're not done with it yet. So the grill looks good and also keep in mind the running boards. Of course, we got the running boards off and it looks it looks clean. It on, honestly does make it look like it has a lot more clearance, but not just that, but now my tires aren't going to rub, which is the most important thing to me. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of big stuff happening and we're still not done with this truck yet. So don't think that we're done. Still going to be a handful of things we're going to be doing to it, and it's just going to get even cooler, even badder, and it's going to just—it's going to be awesome. What do you think about the transformation to this truck in one day? This really—we did all these videos that the past like four videos you guys have seen, we did them all today. It's been a busy day. It went from a grandpa truck <laughs> to like a SEMA truck yeah, so. or a Daytona truck. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it took a big turn in uh, just one day and we still got a lot more stuff we're going to try to do tomorrow and the day after um but yeah it's time to time to get inside because it's getting bitter cold and she has been a trooper out here with me all day long in this freezing weather helping me out and i told her several times she could go inside and be warm and she said no i want to help you out so um thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video do not forget to enter the giveaway it ends in four days maybe three days if you're seeing this the day after i posted do not forget to enter a lot of people wait till the last second stuff sells out and then they can't enter and then they're like dang it i should have done it earlier so just don't be that guy make sure you enter the giveaway information in the description below thank you guys so much leave a fat thumbs up on this video subscribe if you are new join the team join the family and i'll catch you in the next video. Peace.